All right, you guys, it's the time again. Urine, urine with wood ash, miracle grow, and our poor control. All right, first some confessions. I've been gone for the last two weeks, pretty much nonstop. I've been camping. So our poor little plants had to suffer along on their own. Um, because it's been well over 100 degrees here, I did bring in a soaker hose uh, to come on in the evening in addition to our overhead sprinkler that's over there. It sprinkles this whole area gets the grass. That's why the grass is kind of green here. But you can seriously tell that somebody has been ignoring our plants. They got pretty sunburned, but... This is life, and this is how we roll. This is what happens. So let's take a quick overview. I need to do some repair work here and some weighing and measuring because we still have more harvest to pick. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at things. So first off, we have our control plant. Oh, poor baby, very sunburned, which is interesting because none of the other plants are sunburned as much. Um, so maybe it was just a weaker weaker defense. I mean, they're all in the same area. They all get the same amount of sunlight. So interesting. Um, the tomato, we do have tomatoes on here. One, two, three, four tomatoes. And looks all right. Well, a little spindly, but, you know, that's life. The uh, cabbage is growing upwards instead of out which is crazy because that's not what's supposed to happen. But we do have some green beans back there, see? Green beans. My other green beans in the field are almost done, so a little late, but they're coming on. All right, miracle Grow. check it out. We have a zucchini. We've had other zucchinis. Um, so at the end of this video, I'll weigh and measure this stuff, and then I will give you the totals of everything that's been produced while we've been, uh, while, while you haven't been here. Tomato is looking quite a bit better. I mean, don't you think? It's much more full. Remember, we trimmed these back. Um, you know, trimmed out some of the areas to let uh, airflow and such get in there. So we've got one, two, three, four. There's a tomato in there. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tomatoes. One with a split, but still edible. Uh, we also have green beans my finger out of the way and this is the only one that really has any kind of a cabbage although it's getting a lot of bug damage look at that bugs hmm. it's just turned into mush so um, yeah I don't know what to do about that there's a little hornet getting a little drink guy um, but I decided to leave them in place they're um, failing across the board. This is the best looking one. Urine. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's like you go from the desert into a forest, right? So th this is the uh, just the urine. That's the urine with wood ash. They also have zucchinis to pick, which is awesome. Um, of course, they're too big for much of anything other than hollowing out and using those stupid zucchini boats. I hate those. Uh, so, big huge zucchini, not much, not any sunburn. Tomato is going crazy, and actually, I have a little bit of blush on this tomato. It might be the first one to come ripe, but check it out. Blossom and rot. Blossom and rot, which is uh, usually a deficiency of calcium, but almost always it's not in the soil. The deficiency is in the ability of the plant to take up the calcium due to inconsistent watering. And that's one of the reasons I put in the extra soaker hose to get consistent watering. Um, while we're standing here, I do see my first ripe tomato on the plant. Huge blossom and brought. Um, but we can cut that off and eat the top. It's perfectly fine. But um, the other tomatoes, I don't know if you can see this, this newer tomato, does not have blossom and rot. 
no blossom and rot. So these newer tomatoes, since I put in the soaker hose, are coming on fine. Here's one that's starting to blush. Uh, it does have a blossom and rot. And uh, a little bit maybe, but mostly okay. Anyway, that's too bad, but it is what it is. Uh, here, let's go into the forest for a minute. I do have some trimming to do. That's one little sunburn on this big leaf. And in there, I don't think I have any... Oh, no, I've got a couple green beans, but the cabbage is, is just in the forest <laughs> right there. It's uh, buggy. It's not forming a head. It's just dying. Uh, is it from lack of light? Is it from too much nitrogen? Probably both, frankly. All right, urine with wood ash. A couple huge zucchini. Um, this plant... I have noticed that some of these uh, zucchinis, especially some of these small ones, are dying. Um, but I am getting a lot of production. I'm not weighing and measuring the dying ones. They're dead. I won't do that. I'll just cut that off and throw it away. Hopefully we'll get some more blooms. But uh, with the heat, I just, I don't think, I mean, I don't see any more blooms on anything. It's just been you know 100 plus degrees every day it's just it's too hot the plants are just trying to survive much less reproduce so i think um, we may not get that many more blooms but while we're talking about that <laughs> look at that there's blooms here but again more dead are they not getting pollinated are they it's too hot i don't know i do not know here's another little baby zucchini in here it looks to me like it's dying though and then we've got some of these leaves i really need to cut off and these are just old age leaves they're just dying due to the elderliness of them our green beans never even produced a single green bean and now it's totally dead so too much nitrogen since that's the one that's totally dead and nothing every other plant or every other planter has a plant still alive and actually has produced something. I'm gonna guess it has something to do with the wood ash. Um, if it was just urine, this one would have also just died, but you know, who knows, you know, who knows? The, uh, let's see, tomatoes look pretty good. I do have sunburn on the tomatoes, but to me, this plant just does not look as lush as that plant does. However, we do have some crossing here. Um, I might need to, actually I do, I need to tie this one up, um, but it reminds me to show you blossom and rot on these, um, but this plant seems to be further behind just the urine plant. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, trim out the dead stuff, I'll tie that up, um, I'm going to weigh and measure and then I'll give you a total because like I said, while you haven't been here, I've been weighing and measuring and um, have collected other zucchini. I think that's mostly what it's been. And um, I'll show you what those totals are, but I wanted to look at the miracle Grow tomatoes. Looks like they're pretty healthy. Um, for the most part, I don't think there's any blossom end rot here. No, I don't want to twist these too much. Uh, a little bit. Um, but again, it, in my book, that's due to watering um, inconsistencies. So now that I have the soaker hose in place, that should take care of it. But it is interesting that the miracle Grow plant has no blossom end rot where the other plants do. I don't know. What's your conclusion? All right, so I'm going to get busy, but... Uh, You'll see me back here in three, two, one. All right, you guys, so here are the results of what I've been uh, collecting so far as far as uh, dates and amounts of the control, miracle Grow, etc. So I just went ahead and did a little subtotals here on my old school paper method. And as of today, in the zucchini columns, nothing for the control. 
four, four, 414 grams of miracle Grow uh, for the zucchini, which is uh, just under a pound, 14.6 pounds. Um, the urine, we've gotten 386 grams, which is roughly six and three quarters pounds. And urine with wood ash, 430, 83, 4383 grams, which is about nine and a half and change in poundage. So urine with wood ash clearly winning on the zucchini. The green beans, uh, the, this is all in grams. miracle Grow is numero uno at 49. The control is second with 19. The urine with four, and these are all grams, so it's almost nothing. So anyway, uh, green beans is just, you know, barely anything at all. And the tomatoes, um, the control, I put down 69 grams for a green tomato. It actually fell off while I was trimming, and it was my fault, so I'm counting it as uh, weight um, because the potential for a whole tomato was there and I'm the one who screwed that up. Um, miracle Grow, nothing so far. The urine um, at a 50 gram tomato with uh, blossom end rot. And then the uh, urine with wood ash or zeros. These are still really early days. So um, this is drastically gonna change by the time we get to the end of the year. So anyway, there we are. Uh, urine with wood ash wins on the zucchini at nine and nine pound, nine point six two pounds, or forty three eighty three grams. Uh, the green beans, the miracle grows, winning at almost fifty. Woo! Which is almost nothing. Uh, which is what half, uh, half three three ounces maybe and um let's see tomatoes uh 69 grams for the green tomato there we are to date august 23rd and we will keep up the work so let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching